three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you all colleagues. That's incredibly generous of you. I appreciate it. Um, my questions, uh, first of all, I know there's no one here from Canadian Wildlife Service, but can anyone from Environment Canada give us a comparison of the PYs that were available on uh, preparing recovery plans under SARA before 2015, and if that number has been augmented since 2015? Sure, if you can take a stab at it. Could, I was looking okay. for Canadian Wildlife Service on yeah. Environment Canada, but if you know. No, I don't know about Canadian Wildlife. Well, that's uh, what I was asking. Okay. Sorry, I don't have that information. We could provide that to you, but I don't work in that branch. I could see there was no one here from that branch, but if you could provide it, it would be very useful, because my hunch is that the reason recovery plans are so slow coming is there are not very many people writing them. There were three people up to 2015, and I don't think from reading budgets carefully that number has been augmented. I'm wondering if I can turn my attention to asking questions of Mr. Burns. Uh, you mentioned that we had $1.5 billion invested in the Oceans Recovery, uh, the Oceans Protection Plan. Uh, I won't quibble. I would say $1.5 billion was announced. Do you happen to know how much has yet been allocated from the $1.5 billion over five years? Sorry, Elizabeth, I'm stopping the clock here. I've just learned that we do have somebody um, in the audience who may be able to speak to your question, okay. uh, a departmental official from Canadian Wildlife Service. We'll have to um, share a mic for a second, uh, and uh, we'll res or I'll start the oh, clock. Oh, that's great. Th thank you, Chair. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Grant Hogg. I'm a director in the uh, Canadian Wildlife Service, Environment Climate Change Canada. Um, uh, I don't have the specific numbers, but I can go get them. But I do know that uh, after budget 2018, we um, did get significant resources to increase the staffing complement for um, species at risk. So I'll, uh, I'll be sure to um, provide that money afterwards. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. And, and we're good to know if they've been onboarded or if they're just announced which goes to my question, Mr. Burns, is how much money has yet been allocated out of the $1.5 billion announced for oceans protection? So, again, I don't actually have the, uh, the okay. specific numbers, but it is something that we could, uh, we could definitely provide to you. That would be you. great. Well, let me get a very specific question. I'm not sure the right person to ask it and to answer it. Uh, the state of the southern resident killer whale population is a deep concern for my constituents. And what I hear repeatedly from people is that if the, if the whales are on the U.S. side of the border and whale watch vessels come too close, they are ticketed. But when Canadian whale watch vessels get too close, there's virtually no enforcement. So the 200 meter safe distance is great if we were enforcing it. Is there any comments on that? <clears throat> on that uh, on that particular issue, definitely uh, enforcement is a, a critical component of making sure that the measures that are put in place are being followed. Um, and uh, sorry, uh, and um, and it, in terms of enforcement on the west coast, we're we're certainly uh, acutely aware of that need, and there have been some investments as part of the uh, as part of OPP and, and Wales initiative uh, to ensure some additional uh, capacity in terms of enforcement. Now, there's nobody there ticketing whale watch vessels that are harassing whales. So I'm glad to know you're moving on it, but I can tell you from the ground, I get reports all the time mm -hmm. from desperate constituents who are watching this completely endangered, you know, critically endangered mm -hmm. species being harassed. And you would think that people who make their living out of showing tourists uh, southern resident killer whales would be prote more protective. But I hate to say there's some bad actors out there and we need to ticket them. Thank you. Thanks for the time. Okay.